Working with eBay non-API can be very automated and accurate when you work with AutoDS, but you still need to configure it in the right way. In this video, I will show you the exact six bullet points that you need to remember when you work with non-API. Part of them are must and part of them will just save you a lot of time and make your life much easier. Short intro and we are starting. Hello everybody! So eBay non-API is a very strong trend today and a lot of people are using that for their stores. Everyone in AutoDS can choose between the non-API version and the API version. In this video we will focus on the 6 most important bullet points that you need to remember when you work with the non-API version to get the most accurate monitor monitoring from AutoDS. So let's start! The third thing and the most obvious one is that you need to have the Chrome extension of the AutoDS manual dropshipping when you work with the non-API version. So let's see how it works. If I go to Google and I will write here AutoDS manual dropshipping extension, I will go here to the first result and then I just need to install the extension. The second thing that I need to do here is to configure the extension in the right way and what I will do is just take the token from the settings page, then I will copy it into, into the extension and put it here. Then I will click the save settings. So that's the first and the most uh, important tip but that's everyone who started working with the non-API will already know. The other thing that you need to know is that you need to keep your browser always open. Because the eBay non-API version uh, works same as you would work if you would do that manually, it means that it works with eBay directly from your browser. We don't have any external communication with eBay, any servers from our side, any API or something like that. So basically it means that your browser needs to be always open so the extension will run in the background and will make all of the uh, actions on eBay for you. Now, something important here is that you don't really need to keep AutoDS or eBay open. All what you need to do is to keep your browser, the Chrome browser open and the computer open. That's all. The third thing that you need to remember, and that's my third bullet point, is that you need to remember that uh, you should check the bell icon. So if you, if you have any problem with the monitoring, you will always have this button here that shows you all of the problems with the monitoring with the non-API version. So just check the bell, click on the bell, and you will see here the exact uh, problems with uh, your monitoring. In most of the cases, it will be uh, an error that shows you that you need to sign in again to eBay and then you just click the sign in button and that's all. It will solve most of the problem. Now, another important thing that you will have here is that uh, sometimes eBay's uh, file exchange will stuck. What does it mean and what is the file exchange? File exchange is a system on eBay where you can upload a product with uh, changes that you want to do on your products and eBay will process all of these changes and uh, put the right pricing and all of the changes that you put on the file on your products. Now, the problem is that sometimes eBay's file exchange is stuck and in this case it will stuck the whole extension of AutoDS because we cannot do any actions after something is stuck there and we don't get any response from eBay. In this case, what I recommend you to do is to go to eBay's file exchange check if something is stuck, then wait until it, it finishes and if the AutoDS uh, manual dropshipping extension will not back to work to normal, all what you need to do is just to remove the extension and reinstall it. That's all. This bug is very common on eBay and this is why I really recommend you to follow up with the bell button that you have here on the top of the extension. By the way, you will also have a small icon here if you have any problems. The next thing and this is my fourth bullet point that you need to remember when you work with the non-API version of AutoDS is what happens if you turn off the computer. 
So if you turn off the computer, what will happen is that basically will not have any monitoring for your products and usually we just turn it on, open the Chrome browser and everything will back to normal, your pricing will be synced and everything will become uh, to normal. The problem is that your orders will not appear because we will not have any sync with eBay and then you need to take an action to basically uh, sync the orders that you got on eBay while your computer was off until when you turned it on. So what to do in this case? So if you turned off the computer, all what you need to do is to go to the Chrome extension here and then what you need to do is to click the run orders sync now last seven days. After you click this button, it will go to eBay, download the file of all of the orders from your last seven days and sync it automatically to eBay. If you have part of the orders, everything will be okay and you will not have any duplicates. But if you got any new orders, they will be synced to eBay and then you will see that under the orders page. Now, the next thing that I really recommend you to do on your eBay account is to go to eBay here. Then you need to go to um, account settings. Then I go to site preferences. Then scroll down until the end of the page and you have here keep me signed in in this computer. I really recommend you to uh, check this uh, checkbox and put here yes and then apply. Because if you don't do that, you will need always to click sign in again and again because the Chrome extension will not be able to communicate with eBay. This tip is really critical and I really, really, really recommend you to go and do that right now. The last tip that I have for you and this one is super important and advanced tip but I really recommend to everyone read about that and I will also create another video about how to do that on the right way and it will be below this video after it released. So maybe when the re this video will be just released you will not see that but still check below this video to see if, uh, if the other video was released. So I'm talking about virtual servers. What is a virtual server? Virtual server is basically a remote computer that costs between 10 to $20 a month for a normal one that will give you really good results and it will not be any headache to work with these type of computers because if you choose cheaper one, it will be really stuck and very slow. So I recommend you to choose a remote computer from one of the uh, uh, biggest companies. You can work with AWS, which is Amazon's remote servers computer or with Kamatera, which is another company that a lot of dropshippers love. There are a lot of different other companies uh, out there, but these are the uh, two main companies that usually dropshippers are using, and this is why I recommend you. For AWS, you also have 30 days of trial for one of their servers, which is pretty cool. How will it help you? So basically the remote server is same as your computer, but you will use a RDP software, a software which gives you a remote desktop. So you just put the address of the remote computer, log the, logging in using your computer, and then you will have another computer which is always turned on and you can just install the extension there, turn it on, configure it, and everything will run for you for 24-7. It's pretty cool and very, very, very comfortable. So it's highly recommended for everyone who takes the, the business seriously and don't want their computer to stay uh, on forever. So what happens if you work using the remote computers? It's not a problem at all because all what you need to do is to configure the extension there and then you can keep working with Autodesk from your normal computer because you have here all of the monitors just turn on the up upload monitor too and then what will happen is that even if you put uploads from your uh, regular computer AutoDS account into uh, uh, AutoDS, it will be synced automatically using the RDP server, using the extension on your other computer and it will list it to your store directly from the server. So it's amazing because basically you just need to turn it on there to configure it and then 
you don't really need to log into this computer anymore and you can just work from anywhere using AutoDS as normal and in the background the server will sync everything for you. So this one is really important and I hope that it gave you a lot of value. If you like this video don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and ask us anything that you would like to know about dropshipping, non-API version, API version, any dropshipping related question about AutoDS or general and we will be there to answer all of your questions. See you in the next videos, bye bye.